Hi, my name is François Simon, a sales manager at ATRSoft, and I will introduce you to the SolidWorks Property Batch Updater. The SolidWorks Property Batch Updater can be used to quickly and easily modify property name or value of your SolidWorks documents. For example, if I open that SolidWorks assembly and then open the file properties, so that add-in can be used for example to add new properties to your SOLIDWORKS document or remove the existing one. In addition, you will be able to modify for example the property name or the property values of your SOLIDWORKS documents. You can also move for example properties from the configuration specific as properties of the document and also the other way around where properties from the document can be copied as configuration specific properties. I can now show you how the add-in can be configured. For example, you can define how the value will be uh, written to the document if it's changed or not, or if it's added to the document. In addition, you are able to specify which folder will be affected by the changes. So for example, I can copy the folder where that conveyor was stored. So I just copy paste it into the configuration file. You can also define its if subfolders should be included or not and define the type of document that will be affected by the changes. I can now define the action that will be taken by the add-in. So for example, let's have a look at the first set of action where I'm going to add for example the mass, also the description tree where I'm going to combine for example the project name, drawing number and description, and also add a constant value add yourself to all the documents. I will delay the property used on, also rename the property description to bomb by description ERP and change the following property value for the project and also update the file name where the project is used. I will also move properties between the configuration and the pro document properties and also the other way around. I can also define in which order the actions will be performed and now I can save the configuration file. Now I can run the bat file just to apply the changes. I can now open the assembly to verify that the changes were properly made. So I will open the file properties. So here we can see that the mass was automatically added as well as the description tree with the different combination of properties. Also the customer ATR soft. Also, the custom property uh, used on was removed from the list of five properties. The description ERP property name was automatically renamed and the check by was copied from the configuration to document properties. In addition, the weight was added as a configuration specific properties. I can close the file properties and show you the log file that was written to the configuration file. So here we have a list of all the files that were affected by the changes that we had defined.